Hello ladies and gentlemen. Man. I got a lot to talk about right now. And it's not pretty at all. Wow. This is crazy. That all this time. We were sitting up here. Chasing behind this story. With this. Dozo chick. And all in reality. What we really was. Was. What we really was supposed to be doing. Is paying attention to what's. What's going to really happen. I stutter a lot. Excuse me if I stuttered a lot. Through this whole film. I apologize now. Don't chew me up. But this is. What I got to say about that whole situation. I feel that. That was the distraction to distract all black people to focus on this woman. And all in reality, they was plotting on killing us. Man, you see how white people work? They work in so much mysterious ways, it's crazy. It's funny that they call us niggas, coons, and all these names. But all in reality, they act like they don't do no wrong. They act like they don't do nothing. They don't go and shoot up schools. They don't kill people. They don't disrespect their parents. They act like they don't do nothing. Like these people are so innocent that they, they deserve an award. But let me tell you something. It would have been dead wrong if a black person... would have went and shot up let's say a library full of white people oh they would have called him all kinds of thugs all kinds of criminal and everything else in the book nigger, coon, whatever but would a white person do it He's considered crazy, deranged, psychotic, but not once he's considered as a terrorist or a racist. Not once. When the dude went to that movie theater and I believe a horror I may be wrong correct me if I'm wrong and just started shooting up the movie theater they call him crazy deranged stupid but they forgot to mention that this man was a terrorist anybody that caused harm on multiple people in one setting is a terrorist I don't care how you put that shit. Dude is a terrorist. No matter what color you are, what race you are, what creed you are, what background or what language you speak. If you shoot multiple people at one time, you consider a terrorist, bruh. In my eyes, you are a terrorist. A crazy person is somebody that would take poop poop out of their ass and smear it all over the wall or something and just sit there and laugh to themselves and just rock back and forth that's somebody that's crazy that person may be going through some sort of mental problem in his head or something he's crazy but if you can sit there and shoot thousands of people at one time you ain't crazy you got plenty of sense to know what you're doing you're not crazy. <laughs> You're not crazy. Crazy people don't do that type of shit. Crazy people is people that don't know no better. That just have a disability. Now, I wouldn't even say disability. I, I'll take that back. That just have something chemically imbalanced or something wrong with their brain that will cause them to do outbursts. That's crazy. What is not crazy is a person 
that thought long and hard for like a whole week on plotting on how many people they could take out before they get caught. That's a terrorist. What we need to do is get together and be a one. All of us black people just need to get together, let these white people, let these other race do what the fuck they gonna do and let us do what we gotta do. Let's be a unit. Let's be our own society, our own mayor, our own governor, our own president, our own and stop relying on these people to do for us like the government because they're not here to help us. They never was here to help us. They throw little bullshit money at us every month for SSI and welfare but little do you know that stuff don't help you. It don't. Because the benefits that they're giving you is barely enough to put enough food in your house to sustain you for the whole month. And then on top of it, you got to wait till the next following month to get another check. It's not helping you. They have us... I'm going to put it in this perspective. When I go to a farm, I see a bunch of pigs inside the pen. I feel like that. That's how the white people have us. They have us in a pen and they feed us whatever they want and we're going to eat it because we're not going to complain. Because we still living in slavery. Just because we got Obama in the White House, he's about to be out of this soon. And what's going to happen then? We're going to get another idiot in the White House that's going to do just as worse as Obama or probably get us to go to war with North Korea because that's what they they oh man that's where that's where it's going at it's gonna it's gonna happen soon I hate to say this I'm predicting this future and I'm pretty sure that I'm right about this it's gonna happen soon we're gonna go to war with one of these countries and that's going to be the end of mankind. For real. We got to get our shit together. I won't say America. African Americans. And do what we got to do. And get out of these people way. If they want this country, fuck it. Let them have it. This country ain't do shit for us anyway. We bust our ass for this country. We built this country. This country was built on slaves. It wasn't built by a white man. White man never probably picked up a hammer a day in their fucking life. Never did shit for this country. Actually, they took the country from the Native Americans when they was here. And I found out some interesting stories about my background heritage that made me upset as well. And I found out that I was enslaved by a white man. My family was not slaved by a white man. We were slaved by Indians. Yes, Native Americans. The white men sold them to us for us to work for them. To make stuff for them. Make jewelry and stuff for them. I'm dead ass serious. Man, you better go and do your history and look at your ancestry and see what your ancestors was doing. Because I know what mine was doing. I did my history. I did my research. And it ain't good. I don't like it at all. That's why... We are the way we are now. It's not that we fighting against each other because we don't like each other. We fighting against each other because we was once held hostage. And now you just let us go off in this little world by ourselves, And we don't know what to do. We never been taught anything. We never been taught to read or write. We never been taught to to make tools to make anything with our hands we was never taught none of that we was just thrown out into the wilderness and had to find our way on our own and that mentality stuck with us 